tomorrow, April 9, I'm going to the Kokonov because I received my test results, which is negative as expected. So tomorrow I'll be at the Kokonov walking around, showing you all the different areas. See you tomorrow. I made it, I'm really super excited, so come with me and I'll show you the way. So this big field is completely empty now. This is the B entrance, the back entrance of the Kokonov with the parking, but there are no cars now here. So normally in tulip season this is completely packed. It's sad to see that it's all empty now. Here you can see the actual Kokonov castle on an estate that started here in 15th century with a fortified building built for Countess Jacqueline of Bavaria who had a kitchen, of course, in her castle where the maid would prepare dinner. And for that, she had a garden. So Kokenhof literally means kitchen garden or kitchen courtyard for spices and herbs and vegetables. Now, this is a 17th century building, which was built in 1642 for a rich merchant. And this became a 19th century an estate for the Baron and Baroness of Palat. And they invited landscape architect Socher, who also created the Vondel Park in Amsterdam, and they created this beautiful park around it. Now this castle and the park is outside the Kokenhof Gardens, which is right behind me. And I'm going there right now. U heeft 1930 test ondergaan. Heb ik gedaan. Ticket bouwen. Voor 11 uur. Ja. Dank u wel. Ik veel plezier is niet ervan. We are very windy. I hope you can hear me. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I now realize how much I miss this. Going to the Keukenhof, going to museums, doing tours. Actually a little emotional. I already have that when we when I did the exit, exit listed to Keukenhof. So I just entered. You have to show your test results, your ID, and then here at the entrance you could scan your ticket. It's really quiet. I've never seen it that quiet. Um, going into the park, you can take off your mask, and there are no arrows. You can just freely walk around. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you all the beautiful different areas of the Kokenhof Park. Here we go. Well, dear guests, very welcome in Kokenhof. First day in 221 that we were open. It's just a test with a lot of happy people in our park. Tulips in full bloom, a lot of colors to see. Just hope to see you next year. Bye. I'm entering the historical garden here that looks like a typical 17th century garden. It's Baroque, it's very symmetrical and this tells us the history of the tulip around 400 years of developing the tulip. There are very old tulip species here in this beautiful garden. This part of the historical garden is honoring Carolus Clusius. He is the first true botanist. He had contact with everyone in Europe who was interested in plants because he studied medicine and law and he wanted to cultivate plants. And when he was in Vienna, 
living there and establishing a garden for Emperor Maximilian II, he began to collect plants, including the tulip, which was already being used in gardens in Turkey. And in the autumn of 1593, Clusius settled in Leiden at the oldest university of the Netherlands, where he introduced the tulip to the Netherlands into the Hortus Botanicus. One of the questions I received is why are the tulips typical Dutch? Well, actually, they aren't. <laughs> there isn't anything Dutch about the tulips. They are Turkish. And uh, they were a gift from the Sultan of Turkey. And they were given to Clusius, as I explained in the historical garden. And uh, they do very well in our Dutch soil. And in the Juliana Pavilion right behind me, this is where they normally explain the story of the tulip. I've been a, a tour guide in Turkey and I must be honest, I've never seen one tulip ever in Turkey. Can you imagine? Behind me you see the original entrance which is tiny, uh, so that wouldn't work anymore since we have normally more than a million people coming in at Keukenhof Gardens in a normal uh, year. Mm, got a coffee, cappuccino actually, and a gevulde koek, typical Dutch. Behind me you see a very long straight lane with beaches, beaches trees. This was the original entrance lane to the castle. Gardeners are really happy that there are people in the in the garden. You see them chatting with people everywhere, explaining what they are doing and the different kind of tulips that they're looking after. Aren't you happy that everyone is back in the garden today? Yes, yes. yes really. Must be wonderful for you yes. because you've maintaining it's the amazing. gardens for all the all these times and there was no one here and yes and now you can uh, show your work it's life yes we, we, we are back maybe yeah hopefully About a few weeks yes we are totally open maybe that will be great yes that will be great you yes. work for the coconut for yes. a long time uh, 24 years see yes so it must have been devastating last year for you that you, yeah. you did all the work, yeah. all the bulbs were in it's there. It's a nightmare, it's a nightmare. I guess. Yes. So it's great that it's, it's opening all up all again. It's now a party for us. I understand. So, uh, I see everyone chatting, all the gardeners yes, are uh, yeah, having yeah. a talk with everybody and showing their work. And, uh, yes, very nice. I'm very happy for you. Yes, thank you. Behind me you can see the Beatrice Pavilion, where normally the orchid show is uh, on display. Uh, also closed, uh, no orchids now, they're still in the greenhouses where they are safe and warm. So you're working at the Keukenhof? Yes, it's actually my first day. It's your first day? Yes. Ever? Yes. So you must be very thrilled that there are people now in the in the park yes, and coming over great to, to see people here. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Well, I wish you good luck today yes. and, uh, and the week is coming. It's going to rain. I uh, oh. I heard uh, next week. Yeah. But uh, I'm also sure tomorrow. everyone is uh, thrilled to. Uh, to yeah, see to see this. It's yes. already booked out. So. Uh, yeah, great. That's yeah. good to hear. Yes. Have fun. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
I see that the William Alexander Pavilion is open, so let's have a look. The good thing about this pavilion, which is a greenhouse, is that they can show you all the different tulips blooming at the same time. Because there are early blooming tulips and late blooming tulips. And in the middle, of course. And they can show them here because it's a greenhouse. Outside, the tulips are planted in the lasagna technique, which means they have different layers. So the first blooming, the early bloomings are on top and the late blooming tulips are on the bottom. And in that way, they can have tulips outside during the time that the Kuchenhof is open, normally from half of March until half of May. In Holland, in the supermarkets, tulips are very inexpensive and everywhere available. But here at Kuchenhof, you have very special tulips, like the fringed ones. You never see those in the supermarket. Sized pancakes with butter and powdered sugar. The Dutch love fries, so they're selling fries with mayonnaise here, right in front of the windmill. The windmill you see is the famous polder mill from Groningen, from the north of the Netherlands. Uh, it has been in the park since 1957. Uh, originally the windmill is from 1892. It was a donation, it was a gift by the Holland America Line. So normally this is the place where, uh, where the boats uh, start and arrive, where you can do a boat trip around the, uh, the flower fields there in the background. So let me tell you about Tulpomania, which happened in 17th century here in Holland. There was this special tulip, the Vicaroy, the Viseroy, that was offered for sale between 3,000 and 4,000 guilders back then. Uh, if you imagine that a, a crafts worker, craftsman at the time, earned about 300 guilders a year, this was an extraordinary amount of money. You could buy a beautiful canal house in Amsterdam for that money. So Tulpomania is the time that contract prices for some of the bulbs reached extraordinary high levels and then dramatically collapsed, which happened in February 1637. So at the peak of tulip mania in February 37, some single tulip bulbs sold for more than 10 times the annual income of a skilled craftsman. Hi. Hi. Happy that uh, it's yeah. open again. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. First day that you're it's working. First day here. and. Uh, and normally. Normally it's uh, eight and a half weeks. Wow. So we're very happy that we can uh, work a little bit. And yes. Hoping for better times. Yes. What and do you expect if this works out well? This trial that. Um, we don't know. No. We don't know. No. It's not to, to us. It's to the government. Yes. But when it's so, we're ready for it. I so see. We hope. Yeah, well good luck. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the history of the tulip garden started in 1949 with a group of uh, flower bulb growers and, and exporters who started this uh, garden under the leadership of the mayor of Lissen. That's why the Kuchenhof Gardens are here at Lissen. And the first year Kuchenhof started off with around 40 participating firms and now we have more than uh, 100 and the Kuchenhof has its own uh, gardeners around 30 or 40 who maintain the gardens there are around 7 million flower bulbs planted here every year 
how was your day today? Uh, my day was amazing. I came with kids, two little kids. Yes. And they were doing just fine. So we had amazing three hours. Wonderful. Uh, so I am a bit overwhelmed that it went so well. So how was your day today, sir? It was very well. Happy that you could go out we and see the tulips. The weather is okay. The weather is okay. It's much better than next weekend, the, I guess. The park is very nice to, uh, to get in. Was yeah. it your first visit? Uh, it was about 10 or 12 years ago. Ha! Huh. Did it change? Um, yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. And much more quiet. Much more. <laughs> well, great that you enjoyed uh, today and have a safe ride home. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. Okay, people, I'm going home now. It was a wonderful day at the Keukenhof. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully next year or maybe even this season you can come to the Kokonov and enjoy as well. See you next time. Bye!